What is going on guys, it's Waffy here, and welcome back to some more Minecraft Dungeons! Now last time we left off, we just did the mission over here in the Cacti Canyon to find the Desert Temple, and now we're going to be moving on to this mission here next. Definitely do want to read the story bit before we actually jump into it, because I forgot to do that last time. But either way, over in Cacti Canyon, we actually did Default 3 difficulty, even though we're only at like Power 8, and it recommends Power 11, or Power 10, my power is 11 now, <laughs> but we ended up doing this difficulty, and of course it was a little bit harder, but it wasn't that big of a deal. We were able to take it on no problem, didn't even die or anything like that, which is crazy. Got some really good loot out there as well, like a cutlass. Well, I think we got like two of them. I think we salvaged one of them. I uh, definitely do want to try it out see how good it is, even though I think it's worse than the daggers in terms of like damage. I just want to see what it's like to actually use it. Trick bow, that was really interesting. Just shoot it, and it like automatically like heads towards an enemy and even through the enemy and into another enemy like you can get collateral shots and stuff like that it's kind of crazy also uh, the heavy crossbow i think we got that towards the end i never really got to test that out on anything uh mercenary armor got that one and spelunking armor got that one i don't know which one we have right now because i think we also got like a really good wolf armor uh, from a blacksmith at the end of last episode. I think we still have the mercenary armor, though. Artifacts, we got the corrupted beacon, which is crazy. I do want to try that out and see how good that is. Uh, in terms of the other artifacts that we have, I might get rid of the fishing rod to try out this, uh, this corrupted beacon, because fires a high-powered beam that continuously damages enemies. That seems really, really good, you guys. 105 artifact damage per second. And one soul gathering requires souls. So that seems crazy. So both of these artifacts down here require souls to actually use. So definitely want to keep that in mind if we want to try and use them. Make sure we actually kill enough enemies to use them. Also still need to try out this harvester right here. When used, the harvester releases souls in explosion. 4 to 94 uh, artifact damage. I guess it's kind of like a TNT or something like that. But of course it uh, requires souls to actually use, just like the other stuff. Over here we have the Cutlass, 17 melee damage, reliable combo. This curved blade wielded by the warriors of the Squid Coast requires a steady hand in battle. I guess we'll try it out real quick and see how it does against some other stuff. I'm also thinking about like salvaging our old sword, you know, just because it's, it's, it's not as good as, you know, the other stuff that we have now. And we'll even get some enchantments back, so that's going to be really good. Maybe even the scale mail as well, just so we get an enchantment from that. Maybe use it towards uh, the bow or the, the armor over here. Speaking of such, yeah, we got the wolf armor, plus 83 health. Plus 20% weapon damage, boost aura, and health potions heal nearby allies. Uh, that doesn't really matter to us because we're in single player right now. But over here, our current armor only does 47 health compared to 81 over here, or 83. And it still does the plus 20% weapon damage, boost aura, but it doesn't have any damage reduction like this one does. 35% damage reduction and no damage reduction over here. I don't know if I'm going to switch over to it, though. Uh, we just enchanted this one with Cowardice, which does more damage whenever we have full HP, you know, melee and range. So that seems pretty good. And this one, I don't know if I want to get any of these enchantments to surprise gift, the speed synergy, and the explorer over here. I don't know if I want to do any of those. Seems like a really good piece of armor, but like the enchantments aren't really too good. But yeah, maybe we'll salvage our old sword. We'll get three enchantments back. 15 emeralds, so that's not really too much, but of course those three enchantments are going to be great. And maybe our old scale mail as well. So let's do that. Boom. Get one enchantment, 15 emeralds, that's not too bad. What about the trick bow, though? It has the wild rage that does hitting an enemy, has a chance to send it into rage, making it hostile towards everyone, yeah. If we hit an enemy like a, I don't know, like a husk, yeah, you guys remind me, that's what they're called, the desert zombies. If we hit like a husk, I guess it's going to start attacking like nearby skeletons and other husks and stuff like that. That seems really good. 20% chance to trigger, so one in every five shots should make an enemy go into a rage and actually start attacking uh, other enemies, so that seems good. And of course, yeah. 7 to 14 range damage, not really the best, but at the same time can hit multiple targets, you know, and I don't even need to aim towards them. Seems to never miss its target, so I'm honestly thinking about trying it out, you guys. Infinity, chance to immediately replenish an arrow after shooting, 16% chance, then after that, 32, 48. I think the rage, wild rage, is a little bit better for that, you guys. Now, what do we have right here? Well, yeah, we still have the Hunter's Promise, and then here we have the Heavy Crossbow. We also have Wild Rage, View Shot, and uh, Ricochet, small chance for arrows to ricochet off of mobs. Interesting. I don't know if I like that, though, but 38 range damage. We saw that that one's always going to do 38 damage. This one, I still have to do the full pullback to do the 45 damage, so it might it might actually be pretty useful, you guys. Yeah, look at that. The power is completely through the roof. This one's power is like a fifth, maybe a fourth or something like that. And of course, we could also do like a second level enchantment over here because we have four enchantments right now. We can, we can afford the level two committed over here to deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. Uh, zero to 75 bonus damage. I don't know if I'll do that, though. And of course, same thing with the bow over here. Few shot every fourth shot instead of every fifth shot. And our armor over here, cowardice, plus 30% increased range and melee damage compared to 20%. So, of course, we could do that, too. 
Definitely want to keep that in mind, but what am I going to do right now, though? Maybe for my bow, I'll test out the trick bow some more, and then give that the wild rage. Let's do that. Oh yeah, what does it have? What does the cutlass have over here? Yeah, we never looked at it. 17 melee damage, reliable combos. Yeah, we saw that earlier. Prospector, find more emeralds and fallen enemies. Ooh. So we get double the emeralds, basically, plus 100% increased chance. Nice. Freezing. Slows mobs after hit for three seconds. Negative 20% reduced speed. Interesting there. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be too good against certain enemies like the husk that are already pretty slow. And weakening. Your attacks decrease the attack damage of all nearby enemies for five seconds. So that seems pretty good. Negative 20% reduced damage. Ooh, that might actually be really good, you guys. Like, compared to the other ones there, I'm thinking about the weakening one. That seems really good if we try out the Cutlass. Let's actually go over to the training dummy and see how good this Cutlass is against, like, uh, compared to, like, the... Oh, look at that range! Look at how far away we are! Compared to the daggers that are actually a lot closer range, right? Yeah, look at that. We have to be, like, right up against him. And it's 28, 28, 28, 28, 28. And, of course, we're doing all that extra damage because of the cowardice right here. Plus 20% increased range in melee while we have full health. So that's amazing, you guys. Compared to the range of this... Oh, wait, hold on. What happened to range? Oh, that's still pretty far, but it's 24, 24, 24, 24 from a decent range. Like, I'd say even, like, low to medium, like, melee. Like, look at that. Compared to the pickaxe, let's actually compare to that one, too. How's it compared to the pickaxe? Oh, it's about the same. Pickaxe and the... Let's see. Yeah, it's about the same, the pickaxe and the, uh... And the whatever this thing was called, the cutlass. Seems pretty, uh, pretty similar there, honestly. In terms of, like, range. Oh, yeah, we can also see the area... A lot higher right there, so we have a bigger area there, small area there, so I have to continually aim down certain enemies that I actually want to hit. It doesn't have that big of an area of effect like the other Cutlass does. And even the pick has a better uh, area of effect than that. But of course, a better speed, the power's not as good, the power's good there. Power's even better with the pick, golly. Oh yeah, how much damage are we doing with the pick? 34, 34, 34, 34. Hmm. I don't know. Reliable combo. It does have that combo bit, though, which really intrigues me. So I wonder how that would go against enemies and stuff, like if we're fighting them. Definitely want to try that out a bit, you guys. And uh, you know what? I want to buy another thing from the blacksmith. What are we going to get from him? Let's see. Let's buy another one for 89 emeralds. Longbow. The longbow, crafted for hunting rather than battle, is still useful in a fight. Strong charged attacks. Interesting. Let's see how good that is compared to other stuff over here. So here's the longbow. 26 to 78 ranged damage. Wow. And where are the enchantments down here? Poison Cloud has a 30% chance to summon a Poison Cloud that deals damage to enemies in an area for 3 seconds. And I get enchanted and make it 4 second, or 4 damage per second. 9 damage per second, or 13, golly. Bonus shot. Firing a shot also fires a second shot at nearby enemy. The second shot has reduced damage. And Ricochet, as we saw earlier, that bounces off of mobs. Huh. I'll keep that in my inventory, because of course we have all this room over here. We might as well use it, right? But I think we're going to start out with a Cutlass over here. Maybe do the Weakening Enchantment. Give it the reduced damage of enemies nearby. So there we go. Weakening enchantment. And then maybe I'll do cowardice level two with two enchantments. Boom. So now we do 30% increased ranged and melee damage. That seems really good. And maybe I'll also do the wild rage to our uh, trick shot bow over here. Trick bow. 20% chance to trigger. So one in every five shots should trigger a, uh, an enemy to kind of like fight the enemies and kind of be on our side. You know, so that seems really cool, you guys. Anyways. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I guess I could check real quick around the lobby. See if we can find another uh, chest of emeralds. Mainly want to check the. Oh wait! Oh, oh is there one? There is in the same spot. I guess I always just. Oh, whoops! I accidentally just shot right there. Fifty emeralds right there. Nice. And we're up to. Are we going to hit four hundred? I don't know what we were at just a moment ago. Nope, three ninety two. <laughs> but yeah, th th these arrows here are kind of crazy. So yeah, look at that. Boing, boing, boing. It just kind of. Oh, and then ricochet right. There. Oh, that's what that is. I guess it, it naturally has the ricochet in it. So I can give that same effect to the longbow to the heavy uh, crossbow. Interesting. But of course it doesn't have like the auto, like going towards the enemy sort of meme, you know? <laughs> Anyways, let's go over to Desert Temple. Definitely wanted to do that one. And let's read the story real quick. I wonder if this is what the narrator's gonna read or, or what. But let's read it real quick. The Nameless Kingdom. The wind-blown sands of the Desert Temple have wiped away the traces of a vast and ancient kingdom. Yet secretive power still lingers here. The enchanters of this ancient, nameless kingdom once practiced necromancy, magic that summons the dead. Now, generations later, the illagers have arrived to try and pry power from these dusty tombs. Who knows what power they may find, but something else also protects these dusty crypts. Ooh, wonder what we're going to find in here, you guys. So, let's see, which difficulty we're going to do? We're currently at power 10? I thought we are at level. 
What happened? Did our power go down? I think, does our power uh, correlate with like our weapons and stuff or something? I thought our power was 11 just a moment ago. Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back in my footage and see how, like, how and when it went down, apparently. But, oh, and I guess I can't do this because I'm... Yeah, look at that, below the minimum difficulty. Yeah, that's way too easy for us. That's interesting. So we can't just have a kitty rat over here having everything easy. I like how it's progressively getting harder, which is good. But do we want it to be even harder? To be recommended power 16, we're currently at 10. 1.5 times difficulty. Gear and artifact power 12 to 21, 12 to 19. So it's going to be a little bit better. You guys want to try it out? Let's do it. We did it last episode. Let's do it again. Let's do difficulty or default for difficulty. So start the mission here in the desert temple. Deep within these halls awaits a powerful necromancer, the forgotten ruler of a nameless kingdom. The necromancer wields an enchanted staff that holds the power to summon the undead. We must destroy it before the Arch-Illager can claim it in his tiny evil hands. But that would surely be the doom of us all. Ooh. I wonder if I can get that staff, or if it'll just, like, disappear. That'd be crazy if I'd get the power to summon uh, the undead and whatnot. Oh, whoa, the water looks crazy over here, you guys. Anyways, we have the trick shot bow. So we could basically just shoot randomly and it'll apparently, like, go to... Oh, yep, yeah, there's a uh, skeleton right there. There's a, there's a spider. So, let's see what that does. Boing, boing, boing. There you go, shoot you. And it killed the spider behind him. Look at that big line of, whoa, big line of enemies going to be shot. Whoa, that's amazing, you guys. This bow is crazy. And I love the, boing, oh, whoa, that's like a weird, like, choppity choppity sword. What's that? Soul knife? Whoa. And of course, our new cutlass does, uh, makes enemies nearby do less damage or something like that, too. So that's cool. Now, we are, uh, using arrows every time we use that bow. So definitely want to watch out. Make sure we don't run out of ammo. I do want to... Yep, there you go. Emeralds. An emerald? I guess we got only one right there. <laughs> but I definitely do want to adventure around here and see if we can find any other uh, loot while we're here. Another thing in emeralds down there. Don't want to forget about it. Can I get this gold? Man, I don't think we can get the gold. <laughs> that sucked. Nothing over here, unfortunately. But let's go to this left side over here and see if there's anything in the water area. Nah, doesn't look like it. All right, let's continue on this way. And uh, let's try and take on these skeletons. Look like they're just a couple of skeletons, as well as get the emeralds over here I almost forgot about. Ba-boom. We're up to f over 400 now, so that's good. Anyways, where are these skeletons at? Where do they move? There they are. There's the skeleton there. And you know what? I caught oh, a lot of spiders over there. Interesting. And oh, whoa! That's the rage! That's the rage! And now he was fighting on our side there for a moment. I guess it's not a permanent thing, huh? And look at that range! Speaking of range, that range on this heckin' cutlass is crazy good, you guys. Nice. Is he going to bounce that? Oh, it bounced that other skeleton right there, and it, it even turned him against those other skeletons. Nice. Now, I do want to try out. I am, I am racking up some souls over here. What? Oh my god, that thing is crazy. <laughs> but of course, it takes up like all of our souls, so I no longer have the ability to heal up in an emergency situation using souls. I still have to use uh, the healing potion down there if I want to heal up. But if I if my healing potion down there is on cooldown, I can't use the soul healer there, unfortunately. But man, that was crazy, you guys. <laughs> I kind of want to get the firework arrow now and get these, uh... There you go, get those spiders. There you go, did a decent job right there. Definitely want to avoid those webs. They do last for a little while, it looks like, right there. And there's a spot. When did that spider just kind of forget that I existed? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing over here, unfortunately. Thought a chest might have been spawning in right there, but I guess not, huh? Still doing pretty well in arrows, to be quite honest. It's kind of crazy how... How frequently... Oh, let's get that skeleton. There you go. Which one's going to turn against the other one? Oh, whoa, nice ricochet right there. Nice collateral to all those other skeletons. Great job. Oh my god, look at that. Do I want to use it again? Oh my god! That is crazy powerful, you guys. Holy... <laughs> oh man, just annihilate this whole like, room. It's crazy. Kill the skeleton. There we go. Look at these, like, crypts over here. Can I... Oh, yep, emerald right there. There's, like, a green flame there, too. And now we're getting the husks. And it looks like that... that Skeleton is going to be doing less damage, I guess, huh? Because he's got that, like, cloud around. What is that thing? Some sort of, like, go- Whoa! Some sort of, like, ghost thing over there, you guys. We need to- Whoops! We need to watch out for that thing, you guys. Oh, what is this over here? Oh, it's an enchanted skeleton. Double damage! Electrified! Oh, yeah, I forgot that we have, uh, increased difficulty over here, you guys. We need to watch out. That guy- Oh, no, he teleported! I thought he died. But he's weaker now and he's dead. That's good. Take care of that skeleton. Might want to- There you go. Spam these trick shots. <laughs> All right, let's get him. Let's try it. There we go. Maybe even... Oh, nice. Roll towards him so we can catch up and actually take him out. There we go. Nice. Heal up. Boom. Need to remember that we have uh, decent souls right now. Don't have too much... Uh, oh, oh, that web, like, just 
like flings out of his butt and then towards me and he's facing the other direction. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Emerald's over here. Husk's over here. Yeah, do I want to use it again? Oh! There we go. No, oh, whoa! He's still summoned in like fire over here. Whoa! Oh, wait, yeah, he didn't die right there. I guess he teleported or something like that. Golly. Take this guy out. Maybe get them with the trick shot bow. I guess I can't hit him with a bow, huh? He teleported away. Enderman over there. Ooh, we fought an Enderman like a couple episodes ago. Definitely don't want to have another altercation where we almost oh, actually did die. Oh, don't want to get killed. Oh, he almost had a... There you go, Apple. Nice. Let's give him some recent re <laughs> Let's get this husk over here, too. I don't have my fishing rod anymore, so we're not going to be doing... Oh, look at this! The range of the cutlass is so good that I'm able to slice him up, but he still can't, like, do his damage to us. Enderman right there, mini-boss. He'd watch out for him. Do I want to... Oh, man, I don't... I, I have some souls. I don't know if I want to spend them on this guy yet. There you go. Oh, that not do anything right there. Oh, I guess it didn't. Uh-oh. That's bad news, bears. Where does Enderman go? Oh, there he is. There he is. Get him with the... Oh, man. <laughs> get him with the... Oh, I can get him with the bow. Nice. That's good. Oh, oh. There you go. Get him with the bow. Oh, oh man. I'm trying to spam these, these, these arrows over here. <laughs> Doing okay damage to him, but golly, he's, he's keeping up over here. Oh, man. I can't get him with the... Heal up. There you go. Nice. Oh, man. I'm getting cornered there. Ooh. Need to watch out. Kill this Enderman. Run away. Get him with the... Oh, man. I might want to switch to another weapon, but I don't think I want to do that in the middle of a battle. <laughs> oh, no. But I can heal. Oh, man, yeah, I don't have any souls. I can't heal up anymore. You know what? I'm going to kill the spider. Get some souls. I didn't get anything right there, unfortunately. Right away from the end of it. Slice him up there. Yo, a little bit of damage right there. Nice. Halfway towards getting another healing potion. Slice him up as much as we can. Maybe maybe just soak up some damage there so we can deal some damage out to him. Even do a... Uh... There we go. Got him with a bow. I wonder if I could actually make him... Like, on my side, or whatever the, the, the thing is. The ra or not, not, was it the rage? I think it was. Oh man, you went away from the bow, the arrow right there. I can heal up here in just a moment. I do have enough souls to heal up right now, which is good. I don't know if it'll heal me up to full health, but... Enderman, he's actually past half health right now, which is good. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is right there! Oh! Roll away, and he's teleporting again. I like that these Endermen are like mini-bosses like this, though. Instead of like random mobs, you know? I did an okay, an okay job at avoiding that hit right there, but he's going to teleport in again here in just a moment. Where is he? There he is! Roll away before he can hit me with those long arms. There you go. And, oh, I actually can get him with the cutlass before he can get me with the uh, his attack. Like, look at that. Just keep on kiting him like this. Nice. And a few more hits and he should go down. And he still, yeah, he still has like the... I forget what the thing is. The weakening effect? I guess he just does 20% less damage or something like that while he has a cloud and... There you go! He's down! Nice! What is that thing that we just got right there? Thief armor! Whoa! That's going to be good, I assume. Let's take a health right there. That seems pretty justified to take that health. We have a skeleton right there. Hopefully it's going to ricochet through some other skeletons. Husk right there. A lot of skeleton fellas around here, you guys. Hopefully the one of the skeletons... Oh, whoa! Is that Husk raged? He should be. Why is he not? I don't know why he wasn't doing anything right there. He was like red. I, I assume. Oh my god, that's a lot of skeletons down there. Holy. That's like a dozen of them down there. Sheesh. I know I've probably missed. Oh, time for the artifact. The power of that art. I forgot what it was called. It was like an artifact beacon or something crazy. Let's take this guy out. And it's sliced and diced. Yeah, the DPS of this cutlass could be better. I don't know if I want to switch over to the, to the daggers just yet. But it, it, I definitely do want to use the something else because it takes a while to chop these guys down you know even though the the weakness thing is all right and it actually is like an aoe sort of thing too where we could actually like look at that that skeleton back there i didn't even hit is now weak which is good and there we go that skeleton's getting chopped down it seems like it stuns him too because that skeleton was just kind of like facing away and wasn't really doing anything right there there we go the husk is down i guess if you're good with your movement you can just kind of avoid always getting hit just like I did with the Enderman, I wasn't getting hit like half times, which was great. I do know we probably missed a lot of stuff over here, though. If I want to look, yeah, look at that. There's like a whole area up here we didn't go towards. Let's see what's over here. As we're at only 22 arrows, so we need to watch out for that. Oh, there's another, uh, oh, there's a uh, Enchanter guy over here, it looks like. Because they're getting buffed enemies over here, and we need to watch out for that. I don't know if I want to use, uh, oh, there we go! Taking them, or at least doing some good damage to them. Maybe use the trick shot bow, there we go. And get right up next to him and kill him! There we go, got him, nice. Yeah, there's no, uh, enchanter, like, villager over here. I don't, I don't see anything. Nothing over here at all, no chests, nothing. Man, that sucks. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right now, that sucks. Let's take another heal right there. 
Oh yeah, we do have an armor. Oh yeah, speaking of armor, let's see what that thief armor is all about. I do know that our, uh, uh so let's go over to armor. There you go. Where's that? Oh, there it is right there. Plus 47 health, plus 25%. Melee attack speed goes up. Whoa, so those daggers can even be better. Actually, yeah, the cutlass can be better too. But the daggers can be even better. Whoa, I can have another enchantment over here? Ooh, that wasn't available beforehand. Yeah, look at that. We only was able to do just one enchantment. Now we can do two of this thing. Because I guess it's high enough level, huh? His armor is light, nimble, and smells faintly of sulfur. <laughs> plus 47 health compared to 47. Well, it's the same health, which is good. 25% melee attack speed goes up. And damage reduction, which is great. I love that. And the melee damage goes up as well. 20% right there. So I don't know about this. Might be good in conjunction with those daggers. I might try it out a bit. If we're, especially if we're going up against it. What do we have right now? Yeah, we have level 2 uh, cowardice right there. Over here we have swift footed. That uh, makes me roof, move faster for 3 seconds after I roll. Uh, and then we have the explorer one that like heals you up after you like explore a bunch. And thorns. Whenever you take damage, you deal damage back to your attacker. That's interesting. Hopefully, uh, well, we don't have to worry about, like, armor, like, durability here, which is good. And then, of course, the second tier of enchantments over here. Cooldown. Reduces the cooldown between uses of your artifacts. Interesting. I just need to have enough souls to even use them in the first place, because I think it's just one second cooldown for that crazy beacon. Surprise gift. We already saw about that one earlier. Snowball. Fires a snowball and a uh, nearby enemy every few seconds. Briefly stunny it. Yeah, I think we... I don't know when we saw that, but it looked interesting. I don't know if we want to get it right now, though. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll just keep our current armor as is because it does the damage reduction it does the damage like boost as well maybe i'll just switch over to the daggers instead yeah let, let's go do that but the trick shot oh yeah we got this thing too soul knife yeah i didn't even look at it 50 melee damage thrust attack plus two soul gathering this is good what do we have we have the same stuff over here uh, two, two levels of enchantment, uh, so we can do weakening. I can get rid of one of my things, get an enchantment, and actually get this, because that, that, that was pretty good on the... Maybe I'll get rid of the cutlass, and put the... Oh, what? Oh, I could right-click and switch between the two, and that's cool. Yeah, let's get rid of the salvage of cutlass, and put the weaken... Oh, 36 emeralds right there, not too bad. Let's put weakening on this one. Oh, what is this one over here, though? Anima conduit. Each soul you absorb grants a small amount of health. Interesting, so everything I kill will not only go towards... Powering the beacon, powering the soul healer down there, but also healing me. So 1% health gained for every soul, then 2%, 3%. That seems good, too. I could do weakening or decrease the attack damage of all nearby enemies for 5 seconds. What about over here, though? Thundering. Because we have one enchantment right now. We could spend it. Of course, I could salvage another thing, get more of them. But let's see what this one is. Thundering has a 30% chance to summon a lightning strike that damages nearby enemies. That seems crazy. Deals 5 damage. 10 damage, 15. And a 30% chance. Let's see what else is up here, though. The feeding of mob heals you for a small portion of the mob's max health. That seems way better than this over here, you guys. The anima conduit. Leeching, 4% of mob's ma max health. Not too bad. And what about this one over here? Enigma Resonator. It gives a small chance to deal triple damage based on the number of souls you have. Whoa! Guess that's an excuse for us to hoard souls and have, like, a full souls bar. Interesting. And a 0-15% chance to trigger for every creature that we kill. Or, I guess, attack. Huh. I think I'm going to do Leeching, though. That seems pretty good. Enigma Resonator seems pretty good, too. And then, of course, over here... Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do the Enigma Resonator here. Because over here we have the healing, so maybe I could do that one. Anima Conduit. Let's do this one. Enigma Resonator. Gives a chance to deal triple damage based on the number of souls you have. And then a Thundering... Ah! I'm really too crazy about that one. We can also do weakening in conjunction with the leeching here to make them do less damage and also heal me up every time I kill them. Huh. And then, of course, yeah, they're freezing, too. I think I went over it. Uh, but yeah, we saw that earlier. Slows them off after a hit for three seconds. I'm like, I feel like this is going to be our main melee weapon for a while. 50 melee damage, thrust attack, plus two soul gathering. A ceremonial knife that uses magical energy to hold the wrath of souls inside of its blade. That reminds me of something back in Skyrim, you guys. Remember, we had, like, a specific dagger just to get souls from uh, people. That was crazy. Definitely definitely do want to go back and play it. I, I already read you guys' comments back in uh, Arc Genesis saying, yeah, you should definitely play it again. So, I don't know when I'll play it. I definitely do want to play it again. But either way, back to Minecraft Dungeons. Let's see. Which one am I going to do? I think I'm going to do Weakening and Leeching. That seems like a good combination there. I know people might be like, okay, you should do Anima Conduit. Enigma Resonator. Those seem really good, but at the same time, I don't want to, like, hoard my souls for Enigma Resonator 
Because that, that beacon seems really good. And then just only have a 0 to 15% chance to even trigger. And what if it does triple damage to like something stupid like a skeleton, you know? That'd be kind of a waste. So I think I'm going to do weakening. Yeah. But which one am I going to do for- I don't, I don't think it matters. I think I'm going to go salvage something so I can actually get this uh, leeching over here. So let's see what else we have so we can uh, maybe get another enchantment. Oh man, the daggers. I don't know if I want to get rid of the daggers, you guys. Maybe I'll just wait until we have another level up. I don't know how we're doing uh, progress-wise uh, in terms of getting another level up here, you guys. Oh, look at that. There's even a, uh, a tab over here to see what's enchanted so we can see, like, hey, do I want to get rid of that just to get another enchantment slot? Ooh, interesting. Hunter's Promise. I don't want to get rid of that, you guys. And then the daggers. Those are really good. But 14 melee damage. Let's see how good this soul knife thing is, though. Can I test it out? I don't know if I can. I like how it's two-handed, though. That's kind of cool. It's a knife that's two-handed. <laughs> now, there are some enemies over here. I definitely want to go test this, this thing out on, which we're going to be doing. Oh, whoa! Oh, we need to watch out. That was like a button right there to activate this trap. There you go. Supplies. Nice. Two was inside. Arrows. That's good. I guess we're always going to have arrows and bread inside these supply chests, huh? So we're going to be doing extra damage. Oh, oh. Trick shot bow. Take you out. Whoa, look at the range on this. 74 damage. Yeah, remember, our uh, armor. It has slow attack speed, though. But look at that. This is crazy. Whoa. I wish we had more enemies to test this thing out on. Find the gold key. Oh, yeah, there's a, a door over here that requires a gold key. Look at these carpets on the ground here, you guys. What is this right here? That's just a gold, uh, or a, uh, green torch right there. I thought it was, like, an emerald thing. What's behind here, though? Is there anything else here I might have missed? Because I wasn't looking at the minimap too much. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. We already get the supply, supply chest, so don't need to worry about that too much. We're doing pretty well on souls, though. About halfway filled up on that one, so we have a lot of, uh, like, fuel. Oh, whoa, whoops. Oh, hey, look at that. My chicken got over here. Is that trick bow, too? I don't know if it is or not. Let me go slice these guys up. Yeah, the attack speed on it's a lot slower, so pick your poison. Do you want a lot of fast attack speed with the daggers or slower attack speed with this thing? And, of course, a lot more upfront damage. We're doing 59 or so damage right there to these things. Now I'm full health, doing the cowardice. Extra damage sort of memes. That seems great. I don't think there's anything else over here. I might want to roll through that. Oh, there you go. Not that carpet. But yeah, there's a lot of carpets over here. I keep thinking those are traps, too. Or, like, pressure blades or whatever. Here's a lever. I was, like, going to activate. Oh! Closes that, opens that. And my chicken's on the other side, too. What else is over here, though? Oh, there's the gold key. Which, I, I, it's just going to go away here in just a moment because we're going to get a t Yeah, well, yeah, whatever. It's like, he's just going to be, like, right there. I don't think he's that big of a deal. <laughs> Let's go pick him up again. There you go. Anything else over here? Oh, oh, skeletons with shields. What? So if I hit him, oh, I guess they get rid of their, uh, he's got the rage thing on him. <laughs> he killed his own partner there. Oh, that was so close right there, you guys. I almost got, I can crush. Jeez. And yeah, you can hear the, the key making the weird noises over here. There's another uh, skeleton over there, but I do want to open up that. There you go. Open up the door while we can. There you go. Look at that. It has really good range, lo, uh, slow attack speed, but I just one shot of those guys. You're going to have full health. Really amazing. How much? Oh, yeah. He had a shield. I guess he blocked right there. 59 damage. Nice. All right. Let's see what's behind this door over here that we just. Oh, that was a pressure plate. Whoops. More pressure plates here I need to watch out for. They don't even physically look like pressure plates. They look like carved stone or something like that. What's up here, though? Yeah, there is an area up here. Oh, a really good vantage point. Hmm. Don't know why I want to come up here, though. What difficulty are we at? Did we do the harder one? I think we did, now that I think about it. Ooh. Oh! There we go. Oh! Was that a... Oh, a blade. I'm gonna want to watch out for this. Make sure we don't get cut, sliced, and diced. Oh! There we go. It's over here, though. There's a four-way path. Well, three, I guess. Uh, unless you count the way we just came. That'd be four. Nothing really there. Something this away. I don't know what, but the, the mission thing is saying to go here. There's even some like terracotta there too. Interesting. It looks beautiful. Is that an emerald thing? It is. It's in the water. So yeah, I definitely do want to watch out for loot in the water itself too, because that could be hiding in the water. And there's a pig with a, a thing. There you go. And hit those husks right there. Nice. Kill that heckin' pig. Got him. Nice. Kill those husks. Get some collateral. Kill the spider in the background too. Nice. What's that armor you just dropped? I don't know what it was, but that husk is going down. Nice! Swiftness! Wait. Grim armor. Ooh. And it's green. What is it? Let's see. 83 health. 100% souls gathered, so we get double the souls again. Nice. 3% lifesteal aura. Whoa. This seems really good, you guys. Better health. 47. 83. More souls. And lifesteal aura, which I guess heals you up. Grim armor invokes a sense of dread for the one who wears it and to those who face it in battle. Ooh. Kind of looks like a God of War sort of meme there, you guys. 
Anyways, take that. Oh, yeah, look at look at how I look on this little character right there. Interesting. And there's like even like a something glowing in that that soul knife right there that we got. That's cool. Oh, do we have another? Oh, yeah, we didn't uh, level up just yet. Uh, we're close to leveling up, though. We're close to level nine, so that's good. So we can get another enchantment axe to do that uh, that other one that does. What was it again? Hold on, let's see. Uh, leeching. I guess. Yeah, I guess we we could do that one because we're we're going to be uh, healing up from this one, right? Or not that one. This one. Yeah, three percent life steal aura. So that seems really cool. You know, skeleton right there. Let's see how good is this thing. Am I healing up right there? Uh, I got a plus one, but that might just be natural regen, maybe. I don't know, but there's some souls right there. Yeah, we're full on souls right now, you guys. We need to watch out for that. But there was another pathway over here. I want to go see what it was. It, it might be like a a whole new area with loot and stuff. I don't know. I've never seen that in a map just yet. Where it was like a, a, a doorway outside or whatever this was. Yeah, look at this. What is this? Where does this go? Oh. Ooh, I'm like in a weird area over here. Interesting. Oh, a lot of skeletons there. Makes sense, considering we're in like a big heckin' temple over here, right? Weakening there. And you know what? Maybe I'll... Uh, oh, oh, I got I got hit by the heckin' thing right there. I didn't see it. Killing all the skeletons! Oh my gosh, that's crazy! And I can... Oh, I don't know if I can roll out of the uh, the spider web. I need to test that. I didn't know... I didn't really test that right there. Whoops. There's a spider over here. Oh, oh, roll towards you. There you go. Kill all these things. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't roll out of it, unfortunately. So that sucks. And there you go. Kill you. This, this thing has really good range. Like, really good melee range. It's crazy, you guys. Hit this guy with a trick shot and got both of them with a collateral. Nice. Strength potion from that, too. So that's great. Emerald swiftness. Emeralds. Oh, I guess over here you just get a bunch of emeralds, huh? It's kind of like a bonus room. You just get a bunch of emeralds, a bunch of loot, and even a chest. Nice. I don't know how anyone would miss that over there, but then, again, I, apparently I missed something on uh, the creeper map, so that sucked. There you go. Look at that, like, quadruple collateral right there, something crazy. Golly! And beacon time! Holy, and we leveled up. Man, <laughs> this thing is good! Kill that husk back there. Yeah, we've got plenty of souls here, you guys. We've got, like, double soul buffs. Let me get you with a beacon real quick. <laughs> we got, like, double soul buffs. So we get double the souls from our armor, and then, of course, our soul blade over here gives us plus two soul gathering. That's crazy good. Another grim armor. How's this one compared to the one we have? This one's worse. This one's 17 power. This one's 19. 69 health compared to 83 that we have. Uh, oh, yeah. What about the enchantments? I didn't look at that. Thorn. Oh, nice. We can do thorns. So 100% damage return. So if we take damage, we're going to deal damage back to whatever dealt damage to us. But at the same time, do I want to do that one? Or do I want to do the leeching over here to 4% mob max health? I kind of want to do thorns, honestly, because we already have a healing thing with the lifesteal aura right there. Let's do thorns to this armor. That seems really good. Nice. And because we just upgrade, maybe we can get rid of this uh, mercenary army, you guys, and get three enchantment points. That seems really good, you guys. You guys want to try that out? Speedlunker's armor. I'm surprised I didn't do anything with that one. I guess we'll salvage that or something like that. It, it does give us a pet, bet, uh, pet bat. Don't know if I want to get rid of it just yet. Of course, here with our bow, wild rage, 20%, 30% chance there. So interesting. So almost a one in three. So going from like a one in five to a one in three, that seems really good. But I don't know if I want to do that. Kind of want to switch out our range, just to kind of test it out a little bit. Yeah, here's the heavy crossbow. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go to this one. 38 range damage, powerful shots, and maybe I'll give it ricochet, just because the other one didn't have ricochet, or the uh, the trick bow, uh, trick shot, trick bow. Golly, has ricochet. And if we give that to the heavy crossbow, oh, we can even give it to longbow too. 26. So even if I just spam it, it will, it will do 26 damage. Well, this thing too, apparently it's better. This is only a six power six or whatever. This is power 15, strong charge attacks. I kind of want to test this out real quick. How, how good is this thing? I've got arrows to spare. Interesting. And of course it has a really good range, of course, but I, of course it just depends on how much of the screen I could even see, right? Oh, here's a thing. What'd that do? Whoa, I activated something. Huh. I wonder if there's uh, another one of those around here I need to activate. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, a guy. Got him. And he's, oh, I thought he was dead, but there you go. We meleeed him. And that canceled out is like weird, weird flame thing right there. Is there another one of those around here? I might have missed. Let's go around. Yeah, we activate that beacon. Now there's not one up there. There's something else up here. What is that thing? A tripwire? I don't know if that is right there. Hmm. Anyways, there look like there are a couple skeletons up here. There you go, spider. 
Spider 78 damage just by doing like mild amounts of pullback right there. That's crazy. Oh, how do we get to that? Oh, I guess we roll over to it, huh? Can I roll over to it from here? Is that going to be... Uh, oh, I guess we roll over it from here. Let's see. Oh, let's take care of that skeleton real quick. There you go. Anything else up here? Nope, I guess we're... Oh, it's a, a torch thing. Yeah, it's just a torch thing without a torch. So that's what that weird thing was, but... Uh, oh, what? Can I not roll over to that thing? Oh, man. How do I get over there? Oh, I guess. Yeah. There's got to be another lever over here. And then... Oh, yep. And then it'll activate the bridge. Another one over here? No. Is it going to activate the bridge or what happened there? No, it didn't. Something happened, apparently. I guess I didn't activate all the levers just yet. Is there another lever over here? Oh, there's even an area up here. Y'all Oh, wait, no, yeah, this is where we came from. Oh, this is where we came from, but I guess not. Yeah, there's still an area over here. Husk there. Skelefella. And I cannot get collaterals with this, unfortunately, but I can take out the husk. There we go. Golly, that's crazy. These guys, I could almost two-shot these guys. I could three-shot them. There would be a lever thing right here, but I don't see one, unfortunately, so that sucks. Man, where are we going to find the lot? I guess up here. It looks like there's another one. There's a skeleton. Got him. Oh, second bones just flew off the edge right there. Yeah, I, d I definitely do want to give it a, uh, I guess we'll get, I don't want to get rid of the trick shot thing. I don't want to get rid of that one. What am I going to get rid I guess I'll get rid of the armor then, huh? Salvage this, get three points back. There you go. Or, uh, enchantments or whatever you want to call those things. So, uh, thorns, I could do thorns level two, but I think I'm going to do ricochet for this one. Bone shot, poison cloud. Let's do ricochet. This seems good. Small chance for errors to ricochet off mobs. Oh, this is a small chance. I guess, uh, yeah, the other one always did. Yeah, the trick shot one always ricocheted, huh? What about the other, uh, chance? So the poison cloud has a 30% chance to summon a poison cloud. Bonus shots. Firing a shot also fires a shot. A second shot in a nearby enemy. A second shot has reduced damage. So this one always fires a second shot. Interesting. So maybe I'll end up doing this one. Bonus shot. 10% damage per shot. Huh. May I do it? Yeah. Let's do it. There we go. Upgrade. Uh, two enchant upgrades still. So we could do thorns to do 200% or 150% damage. Uh, we could also do, oh yeah, the other one over here, leeching, thundering, enigma resonator. Maybe I will end up doing this one. Just because we already have the healing going on with our armor. Leeching doesn't really make sense anymore, so I guess maybe we'll do this one, huh? Yeah. Gives a chance to do triple the damage based on the number of souls you have. Let's do it. There you go. And we still have one soul right now, which is crazy to think about. What, what can I even spend that on? Ranged armor. Yeah, I don't know what we can spend it on. I guess we'll just always have a soul right now, huh? Oh yeah, we have firework arrows we could use too. And yeah, there's a chest I discovered on the map right there. I can't open it just yet, unfortunately. But, boom. Oh, I didn't hit that, uh, that skeleton right there. Oh! Oh, yeah, okay, that one hit that skeleton right there. But there's another lever right there we can activate. Is that going to activate the, uh, a bridge or something like that? I don't see anything right there. Maybe. Let's see. Roll down here. Yes, it did. Nice. Awesome. Let's see what's inside. Another uh, Grim Armor, but it's worse again. Which one is that one? They're basically the same. We got two Grim Armors in this area that have the same, basically the same, like, stats. 69 health, 70 health. They have different enchantments, though. What is this one? Health Synergy. When activating any artifact, you regain a small amount of health. Interesting. Where's the health regain? So I can get double that if I do the, uh, what do you call it? The, well, the soul heal thing will heal me up to, like, full health anyways, right? So I don't need to worry about that. I don't know if we missed out on anything over here. I feel like we got everything, to be quite honest. We could, we could probably just leave this area. This, like, bonus area that just has extra loot. I liked it, you guys. Man, I am kind of regretting that enchantment that we did this bow now, man. I don't know. I guess we'll live with it. It seems okay. I get, Oh, yeah, I guess we could do an enchantment to, like, the, the heavy crossbow and see how good that one is. Well, what would, you, what would we do here? Wild Rage, Ricochet. I guess we do Wild Rage. Test it out a bit, yeah. There you go. So there you go. It does 38 range damage. This one does 26 to 78, golly. <laughs> so let's go test this out on something. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't, we killed everything over here already, so can't really test it out on anything. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I love these instant, like, load screens or whatever you want to call it. Transition screens or whatever. No, dude, they don't even exist. It just goes from one room to the other. There is no screen in between, which is really nice. Anyways, what was up here? Oh, yeah. There's like a whole path up here. Let's see if there's anything we can shoot. Yep. And then it goes up. And there's the skill. Oh, yeah. It's like instant. I don't even need to pull it back or anything like that. Boom. Got him. Boom. Boom. And it does 38 damage every time. So that's good. I like that. Interesting. And of course, it has the wild rage percent thing. 
Oh, whoa, where's that guy? Whoa, beacon time! Doing some massive damage to all those guys, holy heck. And there we go, get him with a bow. Seems like another boss, you guys, and he's summoning in a bunch of enemies. Let me get him with the crossbow for- <laughs> He fell down, I beat him! I beat him! Man, that boss battle was easy. <laughs> I didn't even think that'd work. It worked. He actually, like, if you look this, like, shadow or whatever down there, he actually died. <laughs> he didn't have, like, a health bar, though. Oh, he's raged. Er, isn't that supposed to make him fight enemies? Why is he still fighting me? I guess there are no enemies for him to fight, so he'll still aggro on me, huh? Interesting. You know, is there any other loot that we missed over here? <laughs> I still can't get over killing that one guy, so he's... Oh, yeah, I'm getting low on uh, arrows. I need to watch out for that, you guys. We're falling souls right- oh, that skeleton just fell down there right there, nice. Another one fell down there, golly! Why do these skeletons keep falling down there? Yeah, look at that! There's like a third night right there! Golly! Fire arrow time! Big explosion! Oh, they're getting pushed off, that's why! Interesting. Let's make sure we don't get pushed off, you guys. Sheesh. 149 damage, that's the- Was that the uh- Oh god, that's a lot of zombies, holy heck. Get this thing out to kill all the zombies! Holy- I don't know if that actually worked right there. Let's heal up. There we go. Oh my god. What in the... Oh god, I, I just rolled like right towards him. Let's get a heal right there. Nice. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. These like, these like zombie spawning necromancers over here. We found the necromancers, you guys. This is him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Blades over here. I almost died. Let's heal up. Oh, whoa. Heal up. Oh, oh god, I can't... Heal up again. Uh, there we go. Now I'm full health. That's good. Roll. And there you go, zombie down. Look at all that thing. Oh my god! Another firework arrow right there did massive damage. And unfortunately, look at all those souls. I'm back full again. Nice. Man, look at all that DPS. And they're down. Golly! That beacon is amazing! Holy! Definitely don't want to be backed into the corner whenever I have full souls, you guys. Holy heck. Is that gold down there I could loot? I don't know if it- Oh, this is what well, was killing me too. There are fan blades there I didn't see. Yeah. So you can get pushed from up here. You can get bladed from down there. Oh, that's- Speaking of such, a hacking zombie just demonstrated right there. Yeah. Don't want to do that, right, golly? Yeah, there are necromancers over here. Definitely want to watch out for them. Make sure we won't get killed by them. Actually, you know what? Let's actually target them down. Beacon time- Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't have enough souls right there, you guys. Whoops. Oh, God. We're going to get- Oh, go this way. Go this way. Heal up. There we go. Oh, what in the world? Oh, I'm out of arrows! That's what! I was wondering, like, what in the world? I can't do anything right there. <laughs> yeah, of course, I don't have any arrows! Anyways, there you go. We definitely need to kill the Necromancer himself, you guys. Can I still use the Firework Arrow? I don't think I can. Oh, wait, I can, I think. I think that's what that was right there, but I'm about to die! Oh, man, I'm trapped over here. I don't have- Oh, yeah, I've got- I've got souls, but... Here we go. Seems good here, you guys. I'm gonna get so many souls from this. Nice! There we go. Spent a lot of souls to get a bunch of souls. Another zombie right there. It, you could argue, hey, do zombies even have souls? I don't know. Seems like they do, because I'm getting something from these guys, right? Oh, whoops. Ah, that would have been an extreme overkill. Whoa, look at that range! That range just... It, he was so far away, and I got him with the, uh, the soul knife right there. That was crazy, you guys. I really need to get some arrows, though. Yeah, we ran out there. So I need to watch out. There you go. Look at that! Crazy good melee range here, you guys. There you go, another hit. Oh, oh yeah, he hit me right there. Oh yeah, and then thorns. Yeah, that does damage back too. Uh, do I have a, an enchantment here? No, I do not. Yeah, I need two to get thorns level two to do 150% damage, but golly. Still doing pretty well as it is, you guys. Holy heck. Let's get a heal here while we're in a safe area. Relatively safe, that is. Husk right there. Slice these guys down a bit from an extreme. Look, look at the range! And there we go, the triple damage right there. Got it. And actually took out that husk, so that's good. Didn't get wasted. An arrow bundle right there. Ten arrows. Would have been nice if there were more. Hopefully I get a supply box over here. Take that guy out. At least do some damage, you know. Another one right there. And there we go. Yeah, he's weakened, which is good. So maybe I'll... Uh, there we go. Slice and dice. Another... Whoa! Two triples in a row with that uh, Enigma or whatever the thing was called? What was that thing called again? The thing that... Uh, Enigma Resonator. Ooh, yeah. That was really good luck right there, you guys. Step on this, it's going to do something. Oh, yep, there's a crusher. Definitely want to watch out for that. Yeah, there's a room up here, and there's a path on about down there. Oh, yeah, that's where we came from. Okay. Does this just go to the same area? Because it looks like it on the minimap. I assume it does. I guess we'll just go this way then, huh? So we can avoid those crushers. Let's see if there's anything over here, like any emeralds or anything like that. That we missed out on. Oh, there's a spider in there. Or something. No, that's just a light. I guess he tri- Oh! 
I thought that might have turned it off, but nope, that just turned even more of them on. <laughs> Let's go this way. Let's see if we can find any more stuff here, you guys. I'm liking the challenge, though. I'm glad that we're doing the heart of the difficulty that says, hey, you, you're, you're not high enough power to do this yet. I'm glad that we did it. This is power 16, I think it was. We're apparently power 10, or when we started it, we were. Probably we were 11 or something like that, but I guess not, huh? No, his area is again. The Archillager is back. He's going to spawn in some more stuff. Survive the ambush. What do I have to... S oh, yep, I, I'm stuck up here. Got to, to fight all these enemies here, you guys. Whoops. Uh-oh. I survive all this stuff because I'm, I'm, I'm trapped. I'm going to heal up here in just a second, though. Can I... Oh, what? Oh, man, there's a good spot right there for that TNT. I was wondering, like, what in the world? I couldn't move. <laughs> but yeah, I, I had uh, spider webs and I also had a TNT on my head, which is crazy. Triple damage, one shot at him. Skeleton dropped a pork chop, nice. A couple of these like ghost guys need to watch out for over here. Let's go. Oh, 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 man, roll out of the way. Man, I can't move. Oh, these things like slow you down or something? I don't know, but it's kind of tough to move through them. So, oh, whoa, another thief armor. Yeah, I don't need that. I already have a thief armor on, on me. Regenerate there from the apple. Is that, no, they're still spawning in, which is good. Good challenge for us, more emeralds. Oh, 300 damage right there, basically. Holy heck. That was amazing. Let's see if we can start, uh, target that guy down. Maybe get him with the beacon. I don't know if I can with this. Man, that sucks. You go take care of these zombies. I definitely want to take care of the second necromancer here, you guys. And there we go. He's down. And he fell into the hole. Nice. New objective, reach the tomb. Let's go over there. Hopefully we can find, like, the big necromancer. Steal his staff. Make sure we get there before the arch Archillager does. Man, I really need to watch out with these, like, fan blades or whatever. Because they're doing some massive damage, I'm sure. Glad I didn't die during that, though. Healed up. I have still have full souls. I guess, yeah, you, I guess you can't, like, point this down the stairs with the beacon thing. I guess you can't do that, huh? I don't know. Maybe you can. Definitely need to be a little bit more careful of that. Oh, supplies up here. Great. I wonder if they're giving me supplies because there's about to be a big old boss battle. Maybe. Skeleton right there. Killed him. Yep, there's a Necromancer. We want to keep targeting him down. Maybe get him with a firework arrow. Got him! Nice! Haha! -ha. There's a big firework. Speaking of uh, fireworks, a uh, fan blade right there. And an Enderman and another uh, Necromancer right there, it looks like. Maybe I'll go this way. See if I get that. Oh, yeah, I should probably wait for my firework thing to respawn. Oh, nice! That guy died. Can I get the arrow bundle? I can. There's another Necromancer. There is a pig with a chest on his back. Yeah, there's like a big main room here, you guys. There's like an area over here that we can go to. Oh, another Necromancer! If we can get, take him out. I don't know if we can or not. A lot of, lot of zombies there. Golly, but well, there we go. Took out that Necromancer. Skeleton, taking him out too. Taking him out. 32 arrows. We're doing a little bit better arrow-wise. What's this pathway? I don't know if it wraps around to anything. But yeah, there's an Enderman and Necromancer over there. I definitely do want to avoid... Oh! Enderman? Oh, oh, oh god, the Enderman is here. He knows we exist. Take out the Necromancer. So we don't keep spawning in zombies. And, oh, he's got the rage thing. Nice! There you go. Pig! Oh, I got the map on my screen. I couldn't see for a second. <laughs> take him out. Take all these zombies out. There you go. We got a, we got a TNT. Where's that Enderman at? Because I'll throw this at him. He's got really good range. Oh, there he is right there. I'm just going to stand here. Hopefully that explodes the Enderman. Nice! Have you ever seen a TNT explode an Enderman before? I don't know. But I needed to heal up, heal up right there, which is good. Anyways, there you go. Another one. I don't know if I could uh, do the beacon shot just yet, you guys. Or to the Enderman. Oh! Oh, yeah, I can. It does okay damage, although I don't know if I want to spend my souls on that. Because, of course, I could use that for a soul healing while I wait for the uh, the regular healing potion to regen. And I just avoid that swipe right there. Probably shouldn't be in such a tight area over here. Let's go this way. There we go. Activate that, hopefully. And let's heal up. There you go. Soul heal right there. And he's almost dead, which is good. If I could do triple damage to him, that'd be great. No, no, if I can, but remember, we do have thorns, so any damage he does back to me goes back to him, apparently. And he's dead! Nice! Achievement unlocked, Scrappy Scout. A Wither Armor! What? That better be good. We got some swiftness right there, which is great. All these fan blades have been activated. Really need to see what that armor's all about here in just a second, you guys. Kind of want to see what's down here, too. Is this wrap around anything, or... This is a whole new area. I think it is. Go take care of you. Take care of you. 76 damage, golly. What are you? Just a bunch of nothing. Oh, yeah, we have strength. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's just a dead end, so I think it's just a bunch of loot over here, you guys. Nice. A bunch of husks. A couple of them, at least. Really good damage, because we still have strength going on right now. Nice! Skeleton down! Skeleton down! Man, we're doing so well in terms of, like, the damage department, I guess you could call it. What is that chest? Seems like a really good one. Let's go open it here in just a sec. But, uh, yeah, this just kind of wraps around here, and then there's that skeleton. Got him. Alright, nice. 
Is this above an area we were at earlier or something? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. I like how the souls do magnetize towards you, which is good. Whoa. Swiftness potion. Boots of swiftness. We already had that. Rare grim armor. Uh, which is worse than what we already have. Okay. And uh, shadow potion right there. Shadow form. It lasts only 10 seconds, unfortunately, but I'm like, we've already killed everything over here, so we don't need to worry about that. Anyways, yeah, I guess I guess we'll take a moment here just to kind of settle down. Maybe I'll go in here and be a little bit more protected. Huh? There you go. And, uh, you know, if anything wants to come over here, their fan blades just kind of going on. <laughs> need to watch out for that. Power 13, level 10 now. Nice, that's good. Let's see what we... Oh my gosh, we have a lot of, uh... Oh, that's all my stuff. What about armor, though? Yeah, we got a lot of stuff during that. Grim armor rare. Level 5... Or, power 15. Of course, ours right now is power 19. 83 health, 63 health. Yeah, I'll probably grind that up. It's still, it's got the thorns and it's got the speed synergies. It's have a, it doesn't even have a tier two uh, enchantment. Huh. That's interesting. What about the wither armor? Ooh, twenty one power, unique, ninety six health, thirty five percent damage reduction. I love that. Hundred percent souls gathered, similar to the one we have now. Three uh, percent life steal or a same thing that we have right now. So it's, it's just all around a better version of what we have right now, and it has damage reduction, which this does not. What are the enchantments it has? Nice, it has two tiers of enchantments. A recycler, as we saw earlier, where uh, being hit has a 30th projectile, you get a quiver of arrows. Surprise gift, you get a random uh, consumable, 50% chance to trigger. We can do thorns, I'm probably going to end up doing that one. Frenzied for a tier two uh, enchantment. Ooh, while you are at less than half health, your attack speed is increased. 10% melee and ranged attack speed, so that's cool. Is there something going on over here? Oh, it's my chicken gets sliced up. <laughs> oh, something's going on right there, but yeah. That's cool. Frenzy there, and then burning. Every 0.5 seconds damages all enemies in melee range. Interesting. So it deals 3 damage every 0.5 seconds to anything that's in melee range. So anything that's a zombie, anything that's a husk, maybe even creepers, I don't know. I don't know if it catches them on fire or anything like that, or it just only does it whenever they're in melee range. But 3 damage per, uh, per half second. That's 6 damage per second, honestly. Because it does it every half second. That seems decent. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's see what this other one is over here, though. Fire Trail. Rolling creates a trail of fire behind you, which deals damage to mobs for 4 seconds. 12 damage, fire damage per second. 23 fire damage per second for a 2-2. Two -two. Holy heck. These are all good enchantments so far, you guys. I'm like, I'm definitely going to do thorns for that one. I'm probably going to, uh, what do you call that? Uh, salvage that. Yeah, I'll salvage that. Get that back. Get another enchantment back. And then we still need another one, uh... Yeah, this is the other thief armor. I guess we'll just salvage these while we're here, you know? Just because I'm probably not going to use them. And then Spelunker armor, I guess we'll keep that. Uh, you know, get some emeralds out of these. So, there we go. Uh, Spelunker armor, I'll probably keep that just because it, it gives us the bat uh, pet, you know? So that's kind of cool. I guess I'll salvage all this thief stuff. So there you go. Even though some of it might be okay in certain situations, but... For right now, this, this wither armor seems great in all situations. Holy heck. Almost doubles our health at 96. The damage reduction is great. The soul gathering is, is amazing because we have like full souls all the time now. The lifesteal aura is great too, so it, you know, we, we heal up whenever we, I guess, are in, in near enemies. I don't know really what that means right there. Uh, or if it, if it means we get 3% of their life when we kill them or something like that. I don't know. Wither armor crafted with the parts of slain enemies was made to terrify the wearer's enemies. Yeah, it's definitely going to terrify them. I wonder what I look like with that on. Yeah, there I am right there. My hero cave and my, uh, my heckin' soul knife right there. That's crazy, you guys. I love that. That looks great. Power 14 now, so that's good. My chick is getting sliced in the background, apparently. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to switch anything out for the fire rigger. I might, I might switch it out for this, the harvester. Maybe, because it's the, the fire rigger seems like a ranged version of this harvester, you know? Huh. Maybe. Let, let's do that. There you go. So now all of our artifacts require souls, but they also give us soul get plus one to soul gathering. Uh, yeah, they all give us plus one to soul gathering. This one gives us... Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, our sword gives plus two to soul gathering. So we have like a plus five right now for soul gathering, which is crazy good. And uh, of course this one, I guess, gives us a plus one to soul gathering because it says 100% of souls gathered or plus 100% souls gathered. So that seems crazy good. So definitely want to try out that harvester because we haven't tried it out just yet. But if there's anything to give an enchantment right now, what could it be? I guess, yeah, we could do the tier two enchantment for the Wither Armor. I just don't know what to choose. Frenzied is good. It's okay, but I, I probably wouldn't choose it over the other stuff over here. Burning seems great. It's kind of a passive thing. And then, of course, Fire Trail. I could I could use that strategically. Just, like, make a Fire Trail. How long is that like? Four seconds. I think I'll do that. Seems a little bit more strategic than Burning, where, you know, you just 
do 6 DPS no matter what. This one, and this one does double that at 12 DPS, but they just have to be in the path. So yeah, let's do that. Fire trail. Nice. I love how it's a boot with like flames coming out of it. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways. Well, there you go. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. There's a fire. Didn't mean to demonstrate right there, but that there's a demonstration, you guys. Holy heck. And of course, this this bow is crazy. This crossbow is crazy good. Heavy crossbow, I think it is. Man. What's this like trail that we have behind us? Is that the uh the effect of the of the of the of the like fire boots or whatever we have going on right now? Or what? Oh, I must have had like the, the shadow form or something like that. I didn't notice it. Whoops. Anyways, there you go. Oh, that one's rage, so that's good. But he's, uh, there you go, I killed his enemies, so. Oh, oh, there's a necromancer over there, I didn't even see him. Get him with this! There we go, and he's down, nice. Man, I couldn't even see him, he was at the bottom of the screen. Oh, there's another one right there, I think. Oh, wait, no, that was just his dead body. Whoop, there you go. Man, I should've used it right there. <laughs> that would've been a great, oh, man. I didn't even get hit, oh, man, I'm just, like, blazing right through these paths. Oh, whoa, whoops. I guess I can't roll up the stairs efficiently. <laughs> Need to watch out for that, but do we get everything over here? Oh wait, yeah, this is just an alternate path. For some reason, I'm taking the harder path. Here we go. Skeleton down. Nice. Whoop. What else is up here? Who else? Nothing. That's what I thought. All right, let's go this way. Try and find the second. I guess just the the main necromancer, because we've come across necromancers already. Then ones I assume that's what they are. Necromancers spawning in those zombies, bringing them back to life and stuff. Oh, nice. That guy's raged up. That's good. Get these skeletons from afar. Nice. And you know what? You know what? I'm going to use number one. Yep, that's like a TNT explosion around us. And it does like 96 damage when you're near us and like 4 damage when you're far away. So that's why the far away stuff was still alive. Triple damage to that husk. Great. And... Ah, oh, we still got hit right there. Whoops. And I do want to try out... Oh, yeah. We still have thorns on this armor. Nice. And... Oh! There you go. Husk, you better walk into that. And he is. Nice. Five, 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 two, two. And another one right here. Can I can walk into it? Maybe. Yep. <laughs> man, these husks are stupid. And, oh man, I almost walked into that heckin' spider web right there. Let's kill that spider. There you go. 50 damage right there. Not too bad. And the husk is down with triple damage. Nice. Oh, this is a big room right here, you guys. Might be a boss battle or something. I think this hard- oh, oh, not a necromancer. Sorry, I might want to use my, uh, explode. Might want to roll into there and then- BOOM! Golly, that's crazy! Get the necromancer down. There's another one up there. Roll away. I don't want to- Oh, whoa! Heal up. Golly, I shouldn't- I shouldn't be heading towards more heckin' necromancers, you guys. Let's run away. There you go. Leave a wall of flames behind us so we can kind of settle down a little bit. And use the beacon! Oh my gosh! Just annihilate anything and everything in our heckin' path! And get us a bunch of souls in the process! Jeez! Man, this is crazy! The area of effect for the sword is great against these- these hordes of zombies that the necromancers are spawning in, you guys. It's amazing! Speaking of such, try and take out that necromancer and all these zombies. And I need to heal, heal up with a soul heal. There you go. Picking up all my souls, now I'm out of souls. So I can't use another beacon just yet. And I can't use another, uh, harvester explosion or whatever that was. There you go, take him out. There you go, nice. Let's look at the map again. Yeah, this is a big room. Need to watch out. I think we did all right there. Could have done better. Oh, well, oh, that's how we get up to here. Nice. Take out this husk guy. There you go. Three husks up there we can take out with our four. Lot of husks. Oh, oh, there you go. And I guess I'll just do this. And maybe I'll do beacon against all these guys. There you go. <laughs> do a little bit of damage to them, huh? There you go. Look at that AOE. Man, that's good. And we even, speaking of AOE, we have a big TNT right there we could use. Nice. Triple I wonder if that triple damage also goes to AOE and does uh, extra damage to the nearby creatures, too. That'd be great. Nothing over here. Empty corner. Man, they better be run away. I've got a TNT on my heckin' head. And I can still use my heckin' sword and stuff with a TNT on my head. I've got great balance over here. <laughs> and that's where we have to go, huh? To find the tomb. The nameless tomb. And, uh, there's the Necromancer. There's the TNT. I wanna see it. Oh! Big explosion there! Nice! And, uh, I kinda wanna- Let's get the beacon. There you go. Try and take out the Necromancer. One more hit and he's down. There you go, Necromancer down. Roll away. Let the zombies catch on fire if they get in that. Yep. And they're down. Man! We have some really good stuff here, you guys. Like, our gear, like, working in tandem, seems amazing now. Like, I can't imagine how, like, what other stuff we can come across. Necromancer just got hit right there, nice. He's, like, off screen, can't really see him. There's a husk. Looks like I can get the Necromancer from this angle. Nope. Nah, I'm out of arrows, that is. Man. I guess that's another thing, too. Yeah, apparently, I guess you can't use the, uh, the firework arrows if you're out of, like, actual arrows. I guess it, you get the firework arrow just, like, hitches a ride on top of a, a, a regular arrow, perhaps? 
and that's how it gets transported, because I guess it's just a firework. And it just, you just attach the firework to an arrow. <laughs> that's why you can't use it when you don't have any ammo, huh? So anyways, yeah, let's keep adventuring around here, see if we might have missed anything else. I don't think we did, thankfully. Seems like we killed everything over here, which is good. Although things could, you know, continually spawn in, but seems like we've done a good job of eliminating anything and everything in the second giant battle arena room. But now we're going to be moving on to yet another fetch the staff. Oh. Ooh. This might be why it's saying, hey, thief armor. I should get the thief armor. Maybe. Although it doesn't give us anything. In terms of like being sneaky, right? I'm just gonna hug the hug the walls here. Oh. Skeletons right there. What am I gonna do with all them? Is that where I have to go? I think it is. What am I gonna do with them? Take them out with the beacons, maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna take a health. There you go. What's over here? It's another pathway. Oh, yeah, I think I do have to take those skeletons on because that's a that's a closed gate right there. I can't do anything there. Let's see what those skeletons are. I want to take them out here just a sec, you guys. You guys want to do it? Let's do it. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Whoops. <laughs> oh, okay, let's 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 get let's melee them then, huh? Oh, whoop! Oh, never mind. It spawns in a heckin' necromancer, the big necromancer. Uh oh. Oh gosh. I, I really need heckin' arrows here, you guys. Oh god, almost in died instantly right there. Holy heck. Rolling away. Man, I need arrows. Man, I used them all up against the, uh, the, the weaker necromancers. The nameless ones already taking damage, which is kind of surprising. It's kind of crazy. Oh man, I'm speaking of damage. Holy. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage here, you guys. Might want to use the beacon against, there we go, and then aim him down. He's taking a lot of damage there, which is good. But now we've taken down all of his, 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 oh wait, no, never mind. Is that another? Oh, yeah, it's just a fake necromancer right there. Man, I really need a... Oh, man, there's more of them right there. I guess I could kill them, get some arrows, perhaps, from them, perhaps. I don't know. It, it wouldn't make sense, because they have spears and shields. Golly. I guess I'll try and get this guy with a, with a beacon, then. That, that's probably going to be my only ranged. If I just get him with a beacon, and just kill enough of his, his minions over here to get enough souls to get a beacon, that'd be great. Of course, I, I'll have to spend some souls to heal up here in just a bit if I take too much damage. Let's heal up here in just a moment. Once we have another regen, there we go. Perfect. And let's do a beacon here in just a moment. And he's spawning in a bunch of enemies. I'm just going to beacon him and his skeletons down. And he just teleported. Man. Oh, no. oh there he is right there. Is that the fake one? Is that the real one? I don't know. I'm going to hide behind this pillar, though. Kill his skeletons as they roll on over here. There he goes. Single file line. He's like, I don't know what he's doing. He's attacking a heck of a pillar right there, which is cool. <laughs> Do that all you want. There you go. Down to half health almost. There we go. Nice. And let's try and take out his skill. Oh, fake one's over here. Let's go. There we go. Wait, he teleported, so who knows which one's the fake one. I don't know. I need to make sure I don't get heckin' killed here, though. Because we have, like, no heckin' health. I'm going to heal up from the soul healer thing. Spend all my souls to heal up right there. Oh, can I move into... Oh, I think I can. I don't know if I want to, though. I'm going to keep running away until we get out. Oh, gosh. I'm getting closer to him. Don't want that to happen. Don't want to be too close to him, you guys. These guys have pretty good uh, range with their spears. Oh, whoa! I leveled up right there, so I'm full health. Nice! <laughs> hey, I guess that's one thing uh, you could do is just, hey, get a random I can level up and go full health. Nice. And I have uh, full uh, souls, too. That's great. There we go. Make sure I don't get hit by his, uh, there we go. And make sure we do massive damage to him constantly, hopefully. He's down to almost a third health, which is good. And there we go. Oh, he's, he's, he's teleported again. It's like, uh, what do you call him? Decoys or whatever you want to call those guys. I don't know. Uh, there you go. Those, those guys are all down. Giving me some souls, which is good. Get him with the beacons. Make sure we we'll get hit. Hit him with the beacon. Come on. There we go. He's spending a lot of time right now doing something. Some sort of big explosion. Yep. Somebody in his uh, skeleton minions. Let's try and take them out. There you go. I don't have any more souls, so I do need to kill these guys. Let's heal up. There you go. And yeah, we're, we took a little bit of damage right there, but we're also dealing out damage with our... Uh, there you go. With our uh, thorns, so that's good. Take those guys all out, that's great. Got some souls, let's grab these souls. Grabbing them, nice, full souls now. That's good, where is he? Let's get him with a beacon. Try and make sure we don't get hit by him while he's summoning in these guys. Aw oh, man, I need to get him. Ah oh, man, one more, one more beacon should take him out. I don't know which one's the real one, I'm just gonna keep running away. Oh yeah, we also have the flame boots, we need to watch out for that too. If I want to use those more often, you guys, but... Here we go, try and take out these skeletons. There we go, we have some good AoE with this soul knife, so that's good. We can actually do multiple, and of course they're, they're weaker too, they have the weakness cloud above them, which is great. There you go. And they're down, nice. Grab their souls, and let's go get them with a beacon, let's go take them out once and for heck and all. Let's go grab his staff. Where is he? There he is. 
And I just took a hit, and he's down. Nice, escaped the temple. Uh oh. Oh, whoa. Thought that was like something crazy right there. <laughs> Totem of shielding and a thief armor. Again. <laughs> Anyways, we got it, you guys. Did we get the staff? I don't know if we actually did or not. I feel like I still have to go grab it over here or something like that, but I, I guess we, we just need to leave now. Yeah, escape the temple. <laughs> I guess that's all we have to do. That was crazy. Kill that guy with zero arrows. That's amazing. I'm glad that I had those heckin', uh, what do you call them? The beacon, like, ability, the souls, all that kind of stuff. That was crazy good, you guys. I guess it just goes to show, hey, if you're in a oh, sticky situation, you can kind of improvise and come up with new solutions to try and, like, win against all the enemies and stuff like that. That was crazy cool. Oh, man, I love that. Uh, I kind of want to see. Seems like a relatively safe area right here. Is there anything in that barrel? No, nothing. Uh, what's in that, uh, or, yeah, we have an artifact here, that's what this is. Totem of Shielding. This totem has mystical powers that shield those around it from projectiles. Interesting. Twice in cooldown, 5.6 second duration. Hmm. Maybe if I'm, if I'm fighting a bunch of skeletons, maybe. That'd be good, especially skeletons that, you know, have bow and arrow. Because those skeletons back there had, uh, spears and stuff like that, which didn't really help out too much. Beacon time! Aha! The Necromancer didn't really do too well against my heckin' Oh god, well, I'm about to die. <laughs> I keep on getting hit by all these guys' arrows, and of course I'm stuck with all the heckin' spiders' uh, webs and stuff. <laughs> there you go. What's inside this loot chest? Swiftness potion, a bunch of emeralds, and I guess the exit's like right up there, you guys. Nice. And uh, I think that thief armor had a red uh, arrow, so I don't think it's too good compared to the armor we currently have, you know, so... I'm not even going to look at it. <laughs> Kill all these guys real quick. There you go. That's a lot of stuff up there, you guys. Should I, should I do number one? Let's do it. Oh, big explosion there. Nice. And I still don't have any arrows. <laughs> They're all going into my flames, though, which is good. They got that husk. And these skeletons over here and take it out. There you go. And a few more skeleton fellas, but not that big of a deal. We can take them out, no problem. And we have swiftness now, too, so we're going to be a little bit more agile against all these guys. Golly. Definitely need to remember. Oh, and then uh, a lot of stuff up there. Beacon time! And there you go. <laughs> Did some good damage, but don't want to use too much of that. And we're, we're getting so many souls. I need, to, I need to use them more often. Like, look at that. So, a soul's filled up like maybe a fifth of my heckin' bar right there. I think that's the end. Did we miss anything over here, though, before I leave? I don't know, but yeah, like, a soul counts, like, basically as, like, five or something crazy like that, right? Maybe. Golly, that's crazy. But, yep, escape the temple, the nameless kingdom. Well, looks like we'd survived, you guys. We didn't even die during this. This was, like, higher difficulty and everything, and I'm not bragging, but let's go. Hey, the victory royale. The staff is destroyed. Once again, the Arch Illager is thwarted. Oh, okay, yeah, we just destroyed the staff. We didn't steal it. Okay, I guess I can't use it for evil. <laughs> As if I'd actually do that, right? Mom's defeated 89. I missed something somewhere, man. Damage dealt 61,108. Golly, healing done 181. I don't know what that really means, because if that's health points, I've done way more than that, because I have like 200 health or something like that almost. Players down zero, because I died zero times. 13 swiftness potions to use. That's kind of a weird little stat right there. And then let's, let's see what's inside of this loot crate before we end off the episode, because golly, it looks like we have an hour-long episode on our hands here, you guys. Torment Quiver! The Torment Quiver radiates powerful energy drawn from the eternal source of the undead. Common, power level 20. Ooh, interesting stuff here, you guys. Nice. Anyways, let's see what we got here in our inventory, you guys. With, oh, it's another artifact. Nice. Plant rage damage, one second cooldown, plus one soul gathering. Again, golly, it requires souls. <laughs> Man. Gives slow arrows that knocks back mobs and passes through walls. Interesting. So it goes through walls. That can be very useful in certain situations. Holy heck. What else do we have that's new, though, before we end off the episode? Uh, I guess they're just the swiftness boots. Yeah, we saw that earlier. I don't know if I want to use them again. They, they could be pretty heckin' useful, especially in combination with the, uh, the... Where would that be? Oh, yeah, here it is. The fire trail. That seems pretty good, you guys. Like, if I had the swiftness boots with the fire trail, but I don't know what I'd get rid of to make room for it, you know? The the explosion here, that's like a, a TNT around me at all times. Like, if I get mobbed, seems like a great way to get rid of a bunch of enemies. Over here, the corrupted beacon, amazing. I don't know if I'm ever going to get rid of that, golly. And of course, the soul healer, if I have a lot of souls, which we definitely keep getting a lot of souls easily. Like, feels like a fifth of our uh, soul bar. What if we kill, like, one enemy, apparently? I definitely want to keep that, especially if our uh, health bar or our uh, health potion down here is like on cooldown, you know? Seems really, really good. And of course, over here, our heavy crossbow. I don't know if I'm going to switch that out for anything anytime soon because that seems really good. Just instantly shoot it. Don't need to charge it up. Has, what was it, like 50 damage or something like that? Because we have a, a boost over here with 35. Uh, oh, I guess maybe not with us. This uh, piece of armor. 
But with our old piece of armor, which I think I salvaged, <laughs> it did extra damage. But uh, over here, a trick bow, longbow. Maybe I'll go back to the longbow, perhaps? Hmm. And it has the bonus shot, so that's interesting. This one has the wild rage. I guess I'll switch over to it, at least for right now. Or at least for next episode, I suppose. But for right now, I guess that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. Let's see what we're going to run into next episode, though. Yep, looks like we ran into a dead end there with the desert, desert temple. Looks like we did what we needed to do. Found the desert temple, went into the desert temple, killed the necromancer, and of course destroyed his staff. So that's good. But next episode, when we come back, we're probably going to go over here to the redstone mines. Oh man, difficulty four is like default now. Yeah, my power level is 16. So, sheesh. Do I want to do default five? Recommended power of 22. Am I always going to be doing the next step up that it's recommending or something like that? Maybe. Because it, it's a lot of fun. Taking on like a, a bunch of hard enemies like that, you know, getting uh, mobbed by a bunch of creepers, skeletons, zombies, husks, necromancers, and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really fun and challenging. Of course, if it was a lot easier, that wouldn't be, you know, as fun. So I really do like the, the extra challenge that we can get right here. So that's really cool. I think, I don't know, maybe we will do a uh, default five. Let me know in the comments down below. Should I do default five for Redstone Mines next episode? <laughs> maybe we will. But anyways, that's going to be for next episode, like I said. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. Oh, I didn't get a uh, thing from the blacksmith. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Sickles, a ceremonial weapon that hails from the same region as the Desert Temple dual wield similar to the daggers. Is it better? It's seems like you could charge it up or something like that. I guess I don't know how this works. 11 to 27 melee damage. Huh. Better power, slower speed, better area. So that's really good. The enchantments echo. Some of your attacks could be followed up by another attack in rapid succession. Interesting. Thundering, as we saw earlier. I don't really think it's too good, but it might be good in this situation. I don't know. I have to think about it, you guys. What do you guys think about the sickles here? I might, I might switch over to it right now and just test it out on that training dummy. I don't know where I was in the outro. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys want more of these awesome videos. Whoa! That's really good range. Look at that combo there at the end, too. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. And then it does a 23 right there. 23 and then a 27. What if we do that combo? Ooh. So that's 11. So that's why it says 11 to 27 there. But with the daggers, it's a constant 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. But the daggers, you still need to be, like, right up close like that. And then with the sickles, how far? Maybe like one block further. And then the area of effect with, or I guess you call it area of effect. With the sickles is a little bit better. The area. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll test it out next episode and see how good it is. But it seems like our main melee weapon is still going to be the soul knife. You guys, amazing stuff over here with this thing. But like I was saying with the outro, uh, I don't know where it was. <laughs> Be sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you guys want more of these awesome videos. And I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, I don't have my fishing rod out. Hold on. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft dungeons. There we go. Oh, bye there. Oh, I look like a scary wither doing that, you guys. I should probably switch out my armor or something like that. Oh, bye there. I'm like fishing for fire or something like that. <laughs> oh, bye there. Oh.